make sense to let the numbers decide everything when some heroes are designed to not work in the usual way with the numbers, and this is going to be a really nice last pick. I love seeing some Zeus. I uh, think this is a targeted pick against the Tiny. Uh, they want some really significant burst damage here at bringing... Playing around this for Vici Gaming, they do have the disruption if they time that well. Overcharge from Io will reduce the damage significantly, and if they get some good healing off as well, they could be just fine. But it seems like the cool thing about this OB team to me that we talked about in previous casts as well is that these is a bunch of, or most of them I believe, are uh, retired players who are just playing this tournament or maybe playing a little bit together again. And perhaps if they're successful, which they have been so far, maybe they'll stay together. Um, but they pull out some, some funny stuff now and then that other teams don't. They're kind of testing the norms in many of their games. They like first pick Lich in this game, they've picked Necrophos, uh, they're p pulling out a Zeus now. It's a very entertaining team to watch. Yeah, that's for sure. And, well, we're not going to see the, the the strat that's haunting some pub games right now, which is the, the Bloodseeker, Zeus, Nature's Prophet shenanigans. Um, as Bloodseeker is not in CM, not picked up in this game anyway. But... Zeus has actually seen a little bit of play in China. The one team that's on it is actually VG Gaming, and FY play to support Zeus. This time around, it's going to be a bit different, though. So it'll be a core Zeus, and they're actually daring to send him mid against the Tiny Wisp. I do like Zeus a lot against Wisp. I mean, FY demonstrated the power this hero can have. I think he was actually up against the Wisp in that particular game. Uh, maybe I'm getting the game wrong, but I, I, I have seen the Zeus first Wisp matchup in at least one pro match before the patch. And... The nice thing is the Wisp just melts. Like, it's very difficult for a Wisp to get active in fights. You get hit by a single bolt, and then Zeus ults, and you're pretty much dead at that point. You can try to bottle up, earn up, stick up, and retreat, but it just makes it very difficult for this tiny Wisp to be up in the grills of of the old boys the way they like to. So I'm excited for the pick, and, well, my only concern is if he can make it through this lighting stage intact well, while he's still relatively squishy and potentially getting ganked. Uh, but with that said, let's introduce our players now. We'll have FY on the Wisp. The IO Fenner will be playing your Shadow Demon. They'll get FY the Bounty Rune, so fast level 6, clearly, clearly incoming. Super will be playing your Safely Marana. Ice 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 playing the Tiny Mid. They have broken down the trees, expect to see a lot of stacking. Black will be your offlane Void. And then for the old boys, Dee, who only recently stopped playing competitive Dota, at least... Uh, at least on a, a, a more of a full-time team. I'll be on the Centaur War Runner here. 820. I feel like he's played this here every game in the tournament so far. On the Vengeful Spirit that puts Xiao Wei onto the solo mid Zeus. Already tanking some avalanche damage. And then in the bottom lane, Long DD on the Lich. And Zhou, uh, formerly of IG, will be handling the Slark. Oh, Black is taking a lot of damage up top. He does have Time Walk, though. I think he's going to be fine, but... Wow, that's a lot of pressure applied already by this dual lane. Venge with the Hastern and the Centaur of DD there. Doing some really good damage, but... I uh, want to click, quickly clear something up. It looks like the way this has been set, so the chat pointed this out. Is this a best of three or a best of five? Because they've set it as a best of three in the game. The admin said in the Skype chat that it was a best of five, but I do see what you're saying. It says best of three up top, so... Honestly, man, I don't really know. I'll try to find out <laughs> in between games. After the third game, or the second game, whatever is over, we're like, maybe a team is the champion. <laughs> uh, we'll just wait and see if another lobby gets us, guys. Um, yeah, he said BO5. Uh, he said BO5. I just double checked, okay. but maybe he was misinformed and, and they, it was in fact wrong about it. I'm not sure. We'll find out soon enough, I yeah. suppose. Well, so far so good in that mid lane for Xiao8. It was one of the main concerns we had for the old boys in the beginning here that the Zeus would have a really hard time, but he's actually staying on par with the tiny and farm, which is really impressive. Of course, Arc Lightning is a great farming mechanism, but. If this IO Tiny Lane gets in a good position, they can bully Zeus almost out of the creep range, but they haven't been able to get the creep equilibrium on, on their half of the of the river that well, and because of that, Xiao It has been able to, to come close arrow. Oh, Just gonna that's the Bounty but They're pretty good for FY. They do a lot of damage to FY here. Nice disruption, but the auto attacks fall on third. They turn the other way, they get the Lash in the center. First one, but he plays the most secure. But then the Avatars come through. I say, say, shooting the party. Even the Saturn Tormentor can't resist getting involved as a Joe who has to retreat to the south. But the Spirit may cancel this. Oh, just missing him. 
the Nava Dark Pact will bring himself a bit lower with this as Super whips on a point blank arrow. Now leaping forward, will begin the chase to the left side. Joe does have the stop shield. They continue pursuit. And seven heroes, it feels like, fighting it out in this bottom side of the map. And in the end, it's going to be three kills going the way of Vici Gaming. That put Ice 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 at 3 0. It's a triple kill for him on the Tiny to start this game off. And to make matters worse, and uh, they have also started to stack the jungle a little bit here for the Wisps, so the economy is looking good on top of that. This is kind of the dream opener for Tiny, not just getting three kills in three minutes, but the whole way that fight played out. You get to a choke point like this one and you fight at minute two, and Tiny comes in with Avalanche Toss and these low-level heroes just dealing so incredibly much damage. It's very rare that we see this, but great opportunity here for Vici Gaming and they don't hesitate one bit. It's going to bring Ice 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 up to his magic wand. He's going to get a bracer. Man, this, he wants look, the look at this efficiency as well. 2,000. His GPM is currently 500 <laughs> in the three minute game. We'll, we'll see that go down pretty quickly. And FY, just to show off his efficiency, he manages to stack the big camp right after this triple kill. So, oh man. The presence of mine on that guy. As I, I got excited about that. I missed Moran and Kite on bottom lane. Caught up by the, the Slark and the Lich, it looks like. is more important, though. That's yeah, Slark really... is definitely more important, man. <laughs> good to get that on camera. Yeah, it's very, very good. Kind of a short-range time walk here for Black, but he'll make his way out. And, uh, I mean, the one thing to mention with Marana is this is a relatively tough matchup because you can't leap out of the, the latch of the Slark. So, potentially a very strong way to counter her in lane. We'll see if that happens again. In good news for the old boys, they are farming really well on DD here. So might have a fast flank, and, and the Zeus is getting a CS still. Yeah, they're they're doing fine on the CS. It was only just this uh, this small exchange of kills that didn't favor them, but overall it's a pretty even game right now. The thing is, whenever there's a carry combined with an IO who gets off to an explosive start like this, we've seen this in countless games, especially when Fnatic has been playing this lineup in in that mid lane, the IO Tiny. If Tiny gets a good start and he gets a fast Axe, and you're stacking the jungle, even if the game is even on gold, the Tiny will be so far ahead of everyone else that he's just going to crush stuff. Um, so sure. his, his teammates can be a little behind as long as, as he can pretty much almost solo the enemy team if, if the IO is alive. They're looking for a jump in a black top lane. A20's made the rotation for this. Can Time walk out of that magic missile, and he will do so, but doesn't time it quite right, so it still hits him. Um, nonetheless, they can't really follow up on that. Now Ice 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 and will rotate through. There was an Observer Ward really drop by A20 really during this rotation, head. making the most out of the smoke, and... Well, in the end, they, they may just descend on DD. He's really gone in far here to the Centaur. Ice Ice Ice, Avalanche can come through. It's a level 3 toss he has. The stomp barely catching him. It looked like it wasn't going to be quite a range, but toss throwing the creep up in the air. Zeus ultimate, simply not, a, not enough in the end. Did very little. Yeah, that was even combined with the level 3 double edge that came off. Looked like it dealt almost no damage, but... Did it actually do any? I, I think the double edge might not have hit FY there. Else I think... Oh well, was he full health? Because then it, it does make sense, I guess, but... That looked really underwhelming. <laughs> they had... I mean, they weren't invis, so... It should have damaged them. Yeah, I'm not sure. And there's not even... Yeah, I don't really know, man. <laughs> Wasn't enough, though. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, either, either way, I guess the question is uh, if this blink dagger is going to be a big turn for OB, uh, despite the the early pressure that's been on, been under that they've been under since. Because otherwise, you're looking at Patty Wisp for having a pretty damn good start. It's like he's already three K network. They've got a bit of lucky in the jungle here with the mud golems, uh, but nonetheless, we can expect to see them doing a bit, quite a bit more stacking as this game goes on. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's impossible to stack this camp more than once, right? Or if you get extremely lucky and get the right combination of creeps, but I, I actually do think it's impossible after the first stack. It's definitely very difficult. I think I saw it get triple stacked by Jotam, and at least that was in 6.81. Uh, has anything been changed with that camp? No, I don't okay. think so. But he must have had a very specific combination of creeps, because if you look at this one, for example, the mud golems are going to block the satyrs, and they're ranged as well. Yeah. So I think this... This combination is impossible to stack further. I think uh, if uh, shall it mid lane gets Gotta tossed get back yet, tossed another back. He's there's, gone. There's a Zeus ultimate here. He'll throw in a thunderbolt, but it's on dice size. It's not very effective. Well, meanwhile, top lane Black has gone back to heal. So the Zeus. I mean, this is the one issue with the Zeus. He's squishy and he's not mobile. Often that's why we see he'll just get ganked if you try to run a mid. But hey, when you're running tiny west, you basically always have a gank in the lane. Structures are fortified. 
Yeah, there's, there's there's actually quite a few targets these t this uh, Tiny Wisp combination will be able to gank all the time. Zeus is one of them, Lich is a very easy target as well. I would say Vengeful needs to play very well to escape a relocate gank too. Centaur, pretty good at escaping it I guess, especially when he gets his Blink Dagger. There's a Zeus ult, trying oh. to get the Mirana bottom, but way, way, way enough health and super will. Oh, they're really committing for this. Are gonna die for this? No. Uh, they, they wanted to get a kill with that arrow coming through. Joe will dodge that one. Meanwhile, top lane Black is Chromosphere. He may go in. The defender alerts the position, but I think wants it to be tanky tower shots. While well, Miwa on the middle lane. I say size pushes that in. He's caught up in CS now, more or less, to the Centaur. And he goes in for the Avalanche of Chow. We have to jump, dropping him up and down, and one more punch will smack him down. A20 rotates in, gets the stun off an ISS size, but the magic stick of Endpoint helps keep him, keep him healthy. Now they need a little more damage. They stampede, they actually toss it A20 back towards the Wiz. Uh, or, and then FY will just tether away to safety. And while that was all going on, the Centaur does go down top lane. They combine the Chronosphere uh, with the Disruption, and they end up getting a pretty important kill there on the best ganker for this team, end of the day. And I don't know if we've talked about this, but it just struck me that how good IO dual lanes are mid now, because IO will always get a rune. Yeah, I, w I think I had mentioned that very briefly. Right yeah, that's but it does seem crazy very to strong. think about. But <laughs> I will not be wrong. And this is arguably one of the heroes that benefits the most from having a bottle, because not only IO gets something out of it, but also the lane partner. So that's pretty crazy for a team like Vichy, who already loved running that dual lane mid, that they get that extra boon in this uh, in this version. Of the yeah, the stampede, as you said, was used there. I think it's one of the most crucial abilities for the dire lineup in this game. It's going to help them against the relocate ganks and maybe. Uh, going to allow them to run down some of these very fast heroes, both the Time Walk from Black, Tether, uh, Leap as well. VG with a very mobile team, I think the Centaur could could prove to be the big pick here for OB if they, if they manage to hold up. Oh, nice pound bottom, but Fenrir with a good disruption. He's gonna die though. And now the chase is on, super leaping away. Shall we can get that extra Thunderbolt off? Man, look at the damage from that. We'll instantly kill him. It kind of sucks for OB though, because they smoked and they ran this direction, and the Tiny Awis were actually, they just started clearing that stack. So it seemed like they might even be able to get the Tiny Awis and jack the stack, but the timing just wasn't quite right, or they didn't want to risk the wasted smoke. So that they go for the kills bottom, still valuable, but it, you gotta imagine it would have been even sweeter if they were able to kill off Ice 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 and FY who is, by the way, about to hit level 6. He's got his Arcane Boots up, he's picked up his bottle, and this Tiny is basically always going to have full HP and mana, as long as his little buddy is by his side. And we're reaching... I like to think of Tiny as a hero who has two peaks, and the first one is when he hits level 9, and he's almost at that point already 9 minutes in, which is incredibly fast for a dual lane Tiny. So of course this is when Avalanche and Toss are both level 4 and you have the first level in Grow. That's when your burst combo is so incredibly strong relative to the health of enemy heroes. And then the second peak is when he starts getting two or three core items together with this IO. He's just going to start hitting so incredibly hard. But he's reached the burst point now when he can solo the Zeus, I think, if he lands his combo and attacks once. Oh, yeah. Uh, that Zeus is 770 health. And I think with the orb they can get Joe as well. They're going to try for it anyway. Avalanche Toss, not really perfectly chained, so they don't get the full double Avalanche damage. But uh, it's still enough to force him back a bit to the mid lane. Meanwhile, Shao had to find a haste turn. This is a nice rune for the Zeus. In theory, it could be a fight, a tide turn in the upcoming fight. He, he is so ever squishy. Yeah, not too much damage on Xiaoi, though. If he wants to use his ultimate and one lightning bolt, he's actually out of mana. Of course, he can bottle during the fight with the haste rune, but that's not necessarily reliable and won't really give him enough to spam out completely, so... I don't think this haste rune is going to be used in the next minute or so. He might want to reset, get full mana, TP out to a lane, and maybe try a gank. Because I think that's that's the approach Tongfu should be taking right now. Their lineup is not that particularly strong in the late game, I feel like. Slark and Centaur as carries against the Tiny and Void, I know who I'm favoring. Yeah. Uh, even though Void and Tiny don't have that good synergy together, it's still going to be fine for Vichy, I think, because of the combination of Dire Heroes. They can use a Chrono. If Tiny can't get in, fair enough. Void does whatever he can do, and then Tiny just cleans up afterwards. So Stuff needs to happen for old boys, and to be fair, they haven't done enough yet. And they keep on going for this Marana bottom lane, which is an okay kill, and my catch her now, she leaps out, dodging the magic missile. Uh, Moonlight Shadow, they'll use the Zeus ult, they're committing pretty hard oh, for this one. Can you reach Still chasing. Line? Doesn't even try the bolt, surprisingly. You know, was, I guess felt he was just out of range for it. 
Oh, man. Like, even if they get that kill sin, I'm just not sure it's good enough anyway. This offlane void is not farming amazingly well, but Black is working towards his Treads Mask of Madness. And the Tiny Wisp is quickly getting out of hand. He's 2k gold up on the enemy safe lane centaur. Is killing Marana enough? I think it's... Oh, it's kind of a no-brainer that you want to stop Tiny, but the question is, if they can't do it, it's Radiant's better that they do something else, but... I feel like at this Radiant point in time, they definitely do have the tools. Zeus has a lot of damage, they have Stampede, and they have... Both the swap, the stun from Avenge, and the pounce, so plenty of ways of, of dealing with it. Of course, ideally they just kill the IO first, and then they finish off the Tiny afterwards, and IO is like a free kill. 650 health, that's two spells from Zeus, pretty much. So... They should be able to do it, but they're focusing a lot on the on the Radiant Tier 1 bomb, they will now get it. And if nothing else, this opens up the map a little bit. They can get into the Radiant Jungle now, maybe deny Tiny some farm in there and get some for themselves, but... Oh, arrow, show it. No follow-up. Yeah, that's a fair point. They they do get the, the the more aggressive warding opportunities now. They haven't dropped any yet for now, it's just a defensive Radiant Ward. And they'll need to start finding those kills fairly soon. We're, we're looking at a Slark and who hasn't really snowballed at all, and I mean, that's pretty much what this hero's all about, is Centaur, to a lesser extent, still offers you a lot of the team fights, but you go late game with the start, Kronos is really gonna shut you down as he misses the leap bottom lane, now he's trapped in the tree line to boot, are they gonna relocate, and Arrow comes through, yeah, they're jumping right on the show, he's used his ult to try and stay alive during this time, now I'll leave out, but the Avatars finds him, what an unfortunate fail, shall we? We'll find a kill on a hero using that, that ground target, you know, in the bold, and now Vici Gaming, looking to retreat out. But... They're gonna keep Ice 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 down here. This is a, a pretty good play, actually, because... They know the relocate came off, so they probably think Ice 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 is gone, but nope. Oh, Ice Ice Ice, a little bit on his own here. They might need to TP in the way it's been possible. No teleport scroll. Did not want to swap, I guess. Well, they knew Fenrir could join as well, and just too risky to commit to that. There's also a Chronosphere still in line. And Black is starting to find farm now that the Tiny Wisp are really exerting their dominance on the map. Yeah, this, is, this is pretty worrying for OB, to be honest. They only got one tier, one tower bottom. Oh, they also got the top one, so technically they've taken two towers, which is one more than the Radiant. The, the but, top was denied, just to be clear. But that was even denied, yeah. yeah. And in this new version, the towers give way less gold, so relative to just getting a lot of farm on the lanes, the towers are not nearly as important as they used to be. Uh, they're not really gaining a significant advantage off it, and when you're playing against an enemy team with more late game, it's not about just taking the towers, it's about getting the map control, so... They need to take more towers, they need to ward off better, and they need to put some sort of pressure so Vici can't farm. I mean, it's great that they've taken the bottom tower, but it hasn't brought anything with it yet. They're still farming as they please. Black has, like you said, been pretty much untouched for the last five minutes. And it just looks like this extremely burst-oriented lineup that old boys have drafted. We haven't really seen them play their strategy too much yet, but now with the Centaur Blink, I think this is when they can really come online. This is their big tiny window, and also not just because of the Blink, but... So also because they just used their last smoke for eight minutes. So if this one doesn't work soon, their ability to exert any pressure is pretty damn limited. They'll get a nice observer ward down, but it's so deep that I wonder how much we'll get to see them gank this location unless they're able to at least deward Vichy Gaming. Oh well, look who's getting ganked! <laughs> Super. Get I, honestly, man, like this is a catch up Midas. I'm thinking, and you know if they want to keep on ganking, it's great. But they'll use the Zeus ult. Oh, it doesn't matter. Who TP's out in time anyway? Now, this That's is their last big smoke for waste seven of minutes. Time. Yeah. I I don't know what you you know it's it's not like they're far behind. It's just fifteen hundred golden experience. But the thing is, it's not a, really about the numbers here. It's about how this where this game is headed. As we even get a kill on the start top, Vici Gaming are gonna try to maybe even get more than this. They did use the Chronosphere, so a big team fight cool on these. And they're going to now on the ice ice ice. Tether was used, and they will jump out. Even with the disruption there from Fenrir. Uh, unfortunately, with the Wisp about to go back, that was just like the worst possible time to engage. Chain Frost blown, Stampede blown, the Centaur Blink revealed. A lot of commitment for not much profit, and now an arrow comes in. DD won't get hit by it, but Ice 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 charges forward, tossing two together as Black jumps in as well. They'll get another two kills, three already down, 820. He's definitely going to be the fourth. And it's Ice 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 chasing for a bit more. He'll toss Super in from downtown. And that looks for the body blocks to time walk in. This is going to be a full five man wipe. Double kill for FY. There's your Agonip Scepter. Pretty much complete for Ice Ice Ice. 450 gold short. 
basically the worst possible fight the entire team ever could have had. Yeah, the disruption there just completely saved the fight. Finro with a, a really clutch play right there. Tiny was going to take a lot of damage and maybe be unable to rejoin the fight, but there was just there was nothing we could do after that point. I think when Chain Frost is used, I think the I don't know if they even used Thunder God's Wrath because there was no one who was even remotely close to dying. He used like Ice Armor, I think Avenge Stun, maybe a Centaur Stun. There was like only three or four spells used. That's how badly they got flumped. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now with a mech as well. Yeah, this is getting out of control. FY is currently 5 0 and 6 on the IO, and it's 5 1 and 6 on Ice 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 with an Ax drum 17 minutes in. I don't know how the Dire lineup can deal with this. And there's another problem we haven't talked about that that lineup has. They are awful against BKB. Like, they have pretty much no answer. They can stop TPs with Swap and Chain Frost, but I don't think Ice 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 wants to TP out when he's in BKB. He wants to club everyone down. They can't do anything about it. Even the Slark can get procced by Craggy Exterior if he tries to fight him during that, so... I don't know what the Dire can do when BKBs come up, to be honest. On both the Void and Tiny, their, their lineup's just pretty much completely cornered at that point. And they're going to be toyed with that. If I send out the Delusion, they both send out Not the hugest yet, but I mean, that doesn't mean he's got one more stamp people left in him. Not the best mana pool. And it's just a sign of the times for this team. Like, they just have to keep on going for this low-hanging fruit of a gank, the Marana. And first of all, they're not even getting the kill most of the time now, and even when they do, it just, as we've talked about, it just doesn't feel good enough. DG Gaming do walk up the mid hill, they find Long DD. That should be a dead lich, leaping forward to set up an arrow, but it takes too long. Now he gets perched anyway. Black can jump in for the low ground. This will bait out a chain for us, just so he can escape. Now the chrono, black down too. Great patience from him. Working on 20 now. Zeus throwing out the nukes, dropping that void very low. Stop will find him right as the chrono ends, but Avalanche prevents his follow-up double edge. DD runs back in, wanting to use it, then runs back out, afraid to die. He ends up going down. FY with the mech, trying to just time this one out as Joe pursues. Looking to finish off the wisp, but can't even get that kill. And now Ice 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 is back into the fray. If they can connect on an arrow, Joe's going down most likely. Can he use the fox to get out? Tossing forward the Marana, no escape in sight for Joe. Now, caught down in the river, can he leap out? Dodging the acolytes, this guy is like Neo in the Matrix, man. But it's just to survive, there's no objectives achieved from this. Oh my goodness, he's gotta work his ass off just to avoid feeding even more gold. Oh, still a really nice escape here, and at this point for, for OB, absolutely everything counts. They got a fairly even fight there, as you can also see on the graphs. Nobody really gained an advantage from that, but I don't think that's good enough. They need to gain. Uh, considering how the fight was open, though, with the two-man chrono and everything, I think this is an okay scenario, considering, like, with that opener, they could be alright with this, but... They need to be on the offensive themselves now. Something needs to happen, but Smoke is still on a three-minute cooldown, and... I cannot imagine how they will run in and find Vici Gaming right now. Good aggressive ward in the Dire Jungle right now. Um, on the contrary, there's a, an aggressive ward in the Radiant Jungle, but I don't think there's going to be anyone to find down here right now for uh, for OB. They're going to try on Black, though, but Fenrir is in a great position here. If they open this, this kill is not happening, and they will try it, but... Don't go oh, for it. And he backtracks it, but Nuke as well, I believe. Now dropping the ultimate. So Kronos is available. Black gets disrupted. Now they purge D. They gotta finish this point off. He's not even using the Kronos. He's fighting his way through the man from the Wiz. Reinforcements have arrived. And Black never even had to Chrono for that. And that's... that's just devastating. I have no idea how that happened. The Centaur didn't get his blink off, and there was nothing stopping him. That's a very, very rare mistake from uh, coming out from DD. He's really not having the best game of his life, but we've seen in a previous series in this tournament that his Sand King performance in Game 1 was really underwhelming, and then in the second game he, he got it together, so maybe he has a warm-up game every day. <laughs> yeah, that's the case. It is a best of five. There's more room for warm up games in this is series. It <laughs> uh, I believe it's. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I believe it is. Right. I believe it is. Uh, uh, we'll no, find out soon. Ice, ice, ice. This, this tiny man. Yeah, the courier won't go down, but it's not actually carrying anything. Nice pick off there by Joe, but just a little bit of gold. They'll definitely take what they can get at this point. And Joe trying to retreat out. A limp away, but Chrono Spear's there to greet him. Best commanders pop now. The spirits can do a bit of additional damage. Trying to toss the Wisp in, but that ain't gonna happen. FY just held on the boundary of the Chrono Spear. It's a nice effort for my size ice, but not even needed in the end. Oh, just the avalanche at the end of the Chrono was enough to, to let Black finish the job. He's now close to 
a maelstrom as well. But man, just look at this net worth. It's kind of insane to think about. This is a tiny without Midas, who's got twice the farm of everyone else on the map. Nine so one they need to Good kill him and get some of that head sweet head. gold right there. That's uh, that's kind of the name of the game for the Dyer right now, and they still haven't managed apart from very early in the game. Isis now with nine one and six, and they haven't even managed to kill Io once. They're really going in for this map. Okay. Jumping yeah, the cheap on the E eight twenty. That's sacrificial lamb, I suppose. One hundred percent martyr play right there. Tiny will accept your sacrifice, but only for now. <laughs> Tony wants more sacrifices in the future. And they're going to be banging away the tier two. Is there some sort of initiation possibility here for Ob? Black is not in the area, so it's four on four if they try to initiate here. But because of that, Vici will just back off, playing the the safe style here, which I completely agree with, especially now in the new version. Making big mistakes when you're ahead is extremely costly, so you want to try to avoid that. And if you're already farming this, the offlane anyway with the Void, you, you know you're gaining even though you don't get the tower, so... Yeah, I I feel like I'll kind of be repeating myself, but it is the only way they can do it right now for, for the Dire. They have to gank Io and Tiny. There is no alternative solution. If they gank any other lane, there's a relocate. There could just be a disruption from a Shadow Demon hanging behind the carry they gank, and then they're gonna get crushed, so... Well, they That's... have one more smoke to do it with now. <laughs> I think uh... it's go time. Or did and, they use uh, that already? Uh, oh, it's on the do they have? Oh, it's on the crew. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't think they use one. If this one fails it, it's 12 minutes for the big smoke. <laughs> By which point, Tiny will basically be 6 slotted, probably with an Aegis. And not just knocking on the front door, but bringing a fire hose to the house and just blasting the windows off. Oh man. Yeah, he'll be... He'll be pushing in soon. He's already got his hyper set up, Ice Ice Ice, and... Uh, I'm wondering if he actually has any components in the base. Not seeing any, and the courier is respawning 20. So still a little ways off from the AC, but yeah, he's getting to that level 16 as well. And it's just, how do you go on this? Like, you, they do have the Zeus to find the Wisp out of the trees, but then the question is, even if they find that Wisp, can they kill it before the relocate out happens? Like, yeah, maybe kill the Wisp when she comes back, but... You really need to kill the tiny more than anything. I'm trying to jump in a black lane. Well, right. Have a stop, double edge combination. We'll finish him off. It's a nice kill from the void. But as I said, in the base. That's about half your tower gone already. <laughs> Even when they get that kill, it's still costly. But going back in now. Avalanche toss onto show. Nearly getting the kill off. FY still hanging back in case they need that relocate. But more reinforcements come through. The Zeus is in tow now. Thunderbolt on the FY. Relocate out. Relocate out. Nope. The swap on the Ice Ice Ice. FY used it but didn't get it off. And Ice 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 will end up going down. FY now charging back into four heroes. Oh, he's going to pay for this. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, Hungry's Tether keeps him alive. But they get the tiny kill. It should be a sure huge one. Cancel that relocate with a lightning bolt. Okay, it yeah, must so, have been. There was the, the swap was on the that, tiny. the channel on FY, so really big play from Xiaoi there. This is easily the best play OB have made the whole game and the best call. Finding this gank finally now, and they need to get a collateral here. Immediately recognizing it, pushing down the mid lane. There is a buyback available for Ice Ice Ice, but he doesn't have a TP scroll. And relocate on cooldown as well, there's no way of bringing him in here, but... They're still hesitating. They don't know if they can do this. Well, it's a step in the right direction. Who got the kill streak? It went to the Lich, which is yeah. not really the guy you necessarily wanted on, but he's going to work on an Axe now. Hey, if he gets some Axe, that could be very big against Tiny West. And the only issue is, like, it sounds like a really good way to counter them, but they're just so damn mobile in the fights with the, the move speed the Tiny has and the Wisp Happy Tether that I often just see, like, that Chain Frost bounce once or twice. Wisp tethers to drag it away, and, you know, then maybe the Wisp goes down, but killing both is pretty rare. It'd be a lot better if they had something like Chronos here, just to ensure that Chain Frost could bounce the whole this time. This ward could be big right now for the Dire. They saw the smoke coming off here, close to the tier 1. They can start getting in position for the smoke gank. They should be completely prepared for exactly who's coming and where they're coming from, and Joe's being the bait right now, but... Okay, he was Deadly. not ready for that. Okay. Well, he was bait, but nobody was there to, to spring the trap. And they're <laughs> losing the tier 2 at the same time. This is kind of a disaster. When you see a smoke gank like that coming, you cannot, you cannot pay this. Yeah, I think they need to work on their trap-making skills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That I think was maybe not they ideal. were just expecting that they weren't going to initiate from that angle. Maybe they thought they were heading up to the top lane. This Wow, that arrow looks weird on my screen. Hopefully you can see it better. But I think they were heading up toward the top lane, but they went to the mid instead. And now Roche is going to be a casualty as well. Unless if the Dark can get in position. It's a 5 on 4. Arrow is going to hit the Centaur. Ultimate to start this one off. And now Tiny will go in on the Centaur with that initial arrow. He gets swapped back, but it's not much of a swap from A20, who still ends up... Cause his Buddy going down. Now one more club could end his life. Two more smacks from Ice 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 will do it. Three end up falling as they also managed to lose the uh, spark on the other side of the engagement. Now shall we champion it? Oh, that's a bad idea, my friend. Then the Buddy throws out the Avalanche Frost. Did he actually break into the Avalanche, causing him to be delayed in this initiation? He'll end up falling. More heroes in the deck. Maybe they get this tiny kill, but he's been disrupted. Another dark pack. They need this lead from Jode. He's going to make it count. It's not going to matter. Smack down. Wiz managed to chase down the ledge during that time. And, well, Zeus has picked up an eggs, but... Uh, now straight back to the pit to finish what they started here. Can he possibly turn this with the... the oh, for 40 seconds, not going to happen. No. And Rose won't be using his slam unless FY comes too close, of course, at which point Ice 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 will be one shot as... Miss. now. <laughs> uh, there's no way. This is... I feel like that was a valiant effort from OB, but it's just too little too late. That kind of fight could have worked out very well for them about 10 minutes ago, but... The difference is just too big right now. Of course, should they pull it off? Uh-oh. 820. Just free gold at this point. Fenrir will actually claim it, though. He can work towards his next item after this quick dagger. I, I... I cannot... You know, I said it was hard to bring down Tiny. They have to do it twice now. It's... it's it's Pretty much impossible. impossible. It's not that they don't have the damage, but it's the consequences that will happen if they try to go on the tiny. There's going to be a, a chronosphere coming out from black. Uh, they have plenty of things to buy time with. Even they have got overcharge level four. They've got disruption. There's probably going to be an arrow coming in if they focus too hard on that one target. And even if they bring him down the first time, just the casualties. They will be losing one or two heroes in the process, and then the second time he comes out, they can't kill him again. Well, send with with game one looking. Very good here for Vici. I guess it may be worth discussing what's the game plan for the old boys going into game two. Uh, whether it's a BO3 or BO5, they'll have a chance to kind of think this one over and recover. And I will mention yesterday that Invictus Gaming, and not just them, but other teams, well, we will see a rotation here from OB. Kind of a desperation move. Just running on multiple hills with only that single ward mid, trying to find the tiny wisp of the ancients, but not successful. What we saw IG do yesterday was they banned Wisp and Visage in the first stage at least two out of the three games. Is that something you just have to do against Vici because they're just too good at the Drow, Visage, and Tiny Wisp? I think if you give the uh, the IO Tiny away, you need to try a little bit harder to counter them because they basically let them play their game. They put a Zeus against them who, yes, he got decent farm himself, but he didn't prevent them from getting anything. Maybe you run a dual lane mid with the Lich. Um, maybe you try some really early rotations with a couple of supports trying to, to gank the mid lane or something like that, but they kind of gave Ice 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 three kills right in the start, and then they just left him to farm. And if that's what you're going to do, just ban the Wisp. If if you're not looking to counter it out, then don't give it away. Yeah, Avicii run it damn well. I mean, it's yeah. not like they pick it, but don't know what they're doing with it. <laughs> FY is a fantastic Wisp. Ice 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 and Black have both played a solid tidy for the team, and... Um, ultimately, it's just it's so difficult to go late against this. They even got that big kill on Tiny, but it just wasn't nearly enough. Maybe with a different draft, it could have been. I mean, there are heroes. For each now as well. They have the pipe and the Kiras finished at the same time here. FY and Ice 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 getting so big. What's the net worth of this guy? Almost 10k. <laughs> this farm is the enemy Zeus practically, like 1k short of that. And now they've picked up a pipe, so the Zeus won't be nearly as scary. Neither will the Chain Frost. And Ice 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 starts clubbing with Super there on the low ground, providing the Minus Armor deep up through Desolator damage. Well, the tower drops quickly. They may back off and reset here, at least earn Ice 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 up. Uh, that will be their last turn charge, so... Not sure if we see them actually commit. There's a mech available as well, but the Wisp currently is full HP, so... We only get that single heal. Still, the bottle of double damage rune. Not giving it to the Tiny. FY decides he wants to plink a little bit harder. But one more good push, and that's a late of Rex. And OB have to know it's, it's too late. 
Yeah. <laughs> Whenever true. there's a tiny with an AC and these kind of items in the mid late game, it's it's always one. It's more always more than one lane, especially now that tier three is gone. So. And there's no split push. Like there's no way to draw them back, really. No. I feel like this is you know we're reaching the point when it's just a it's just a matter of time. Even in this version, I cannot. It's. I know I'm saying this. I'm saying I cannot imagine a lot, but it really is. It really is kind of one of the most one-sided games we've seen in the tournament so far, to be honest. So uh, apparently, the since... rave series against PR, which was just an absolute crush, but that was pretty brutal. Um, I, I will say, apparently, I'm not sure if this is true, but from what I heard, some of the people watching the Chinese stream uh, who speak Chinese were saying that. Uh, both teams are asked for predictions, and Old Boy said Vici Gaming 3-0 or 3-1, and Vici Gaming said 3-0, so it's uh, Vici <laughs> Gaming's way. So both teams expected Vici Gaming to take the set, but um, at the very least, I think the Old Boys can give them a closer run for their money than this. this yeah, there's sure. A lot of this, this comes down to matchup more than anything. I think it was the draft and the fact that the first fight went the way it did. The three Radiant kills in the time very early on the pace attack. of the game. And, you know, if you go into a game two, as OB, I don't know how much you really need to change. You just need to reset and, and play it a little bit better. They do have this Aegis on Ice 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 now. They're gonna leave him really far up on the high ground. He gets disrupted now. Magic Missile and a Chain Frost will be thrown out at him. But he's got life number two if need be. The let the Aegis pop is on the back side to the fights. And Joe is scurrying around trying to make something happen. Ice Ice Ice, just being left to his own devices. They're gonna time walk in the void and they'll kill off Joe. Leaving no support for the Tony at all on the high ground, but he just walks away from four heroes. They had nothing. They had absolutely nothing on him. He doesn't even need this a switch. This is what I was expecting. They they will have to try to kill the Tiny eventually, and they will manage to bring him down once. But they have to commit everything to it, and then they can't kill him again. It's going to be an overcharge now. They're going to get crushed. But the Chrono Spear's here. Catches out too. He even traps Ice Ice Ice. Not really the best Chrono, but he's tanky. He'll be fine. Long DD getting bashed to oblivion here. The Frost Armor doing a decent job of preventing that additional kill, but it's Tony in the base. The buildings are getting shattered. GG. There we go. This one was way too easy for Beachy Gaming. Yeah, very convincing performance from them. And what I like about this game from Beachy is that it was reminding me a little bit more. We've had some very weird games in this tournament, let's be honest, but... It reminded me more of the Beachy we were used to seeing in 6 8, one More structured, less chaotic, and... Like, the series against both Newbie and IG, I feel like... The teams were really confused around the map, making a lot of mistakes, bad decisions that couldn't necessarily just be blamed on the version